Other stories now. Industry and experts have welcomed the civil aviation policy that was unveiled yesterday, hailing it as a credible attempt to open up Indian skies and taking flying to the masses. However, some experts believe that there are still some gaping holes in the policy. CNBC TV 18's Farah Bukpala Bora bring up, brings us this report. Civil Aviation Minister Ashok Gajapati Raju's much-awaited civil aviation policy may speak to the government's intent to break Indian aviation out of its shackles. But experts say there's still miles to go. Two reasons. One, the new policy is heavy on ideas but light on specifics. And two, there's complete silence on several critical areas that experts believe are the need of the hour. For instance, to boost regional connectivity, the policy proposes creating a regional connectivity fund. This is to provide viability gap funding through a levy on domestic flights on Category 1 routes and will be shared by the Ministry of Civil Aviation and state governments in the ratio of 80-20. However, the policy does not shed any light on how this fund will be created, what funding and concession arrangements are on the anvil to get states on board, and more importantly, how infrastructure will be augmented to support this greater regional connectivity. The biggest gaping hole uh, would probably be the uh, whole aspect of airport infrastructure, which uh, I think is absolutely critical for this whole regional connectivity scheme to, to really succeed. Um, there are some general statements made, but in terms of augmenting the, augmenting the existing infrastructure at airports, uh, there's nothing major which has come out. See, 20% growth looks nice, but you have to have airports, you have to have the air infrastructure, you have to have the regulatory infrastructure, and a lot of other things in place to be able to continue the sustained growth for the years to come. But we are not doing enough on the infrastructure front. Experts say the policy has also remained silent about key matters like the formation of an independent civil aviation authority to replace the DGCA, the listing of Airports Authority of India, the privatization of loss-making national carrier Air India, the privatization of the Chennai, Kolkata, Jaipur and Ahmedabad airports that are currently being run by the AAI, and the long-pending structural issues like high sales tax on aviation fuel. Where I think they've missed the bus and where they could have been a little more uh, proactive is on the privatization of airports piece. That's one piece where I believe they need to be a lot clearer as well as a lot much more aggressive in uh, ensuring that a larger number of airports can be effectively run by private uh, sector players. Especially now that the Niti Aayog has come yesterday and said uh, there is a marked difference in the operational efficiency of these uh, platforms, with, uh, of these airports which are run by private sector. The policy also encourages private developers to build airports by relaxing restrictions on the use of land for airport and airport related purposes. But experts warn that this could pave the way for commercial exploitation of land possibly leading to legal complications for developers. In Mumbai, Farah Bukwala, Vora. One of the countries